One for the money and those free rides. It's two about the lies that we've denied. All rise. All rise. Three about the cause that you've been faking. It's four about the times that you've been making some other... I don't know what the words are. I thought I did, but I don't. Those were lyrics from a popular song by a boy band from the UK known as Blue. Now everyone else is probably going to be thinking about that song, Blue Dabba Dee Dabba Dee Dabba Dee Dabba Dee Dabba Dee Dabba Dee But no, not I. I'm thinking about the boy band Blue from the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. They had a string of singles, including a collaboration where they sung Sorry is the Hardest Thing to Say with uh, Elton John. That was cool. That was rad. They were uh, mediocrely gifted musicians. They had moments which were better than others. They had bits that were a bit shit. It's okay. We all live with that. That's how we, uh, that's how we grow as musicians, you know? That's how we grow as musicians. We have to make some bad stuff. But a lot of their pop songs they did were quite fun to listen to, and I didn't actually really mind them that much. Back in 2003, March 2003, I was on Top of the Pops. Um, I'd been given tickets to go along and see Linkin Park performing. This is back when my Linkin Park taught me to YOLO. Click somewhere around here and there'll be a story about that, probably. I went to Top of the Pops to go and see them perform. And along the lineup were lots of people, including George Michael and Mel C and other great, fun pop acts that you would expect to see. And I was like, this is great. And Blue were one of the people that performed. And they did their set. They did, like, a lot of the musicians that came on would do one song for TV and then they'd perform some other stuff for the audience if they think that they had fans that had come specifically for them, not just to be in the audience. And they played a couple of songs, which was good. Can't remember what song they were doing, but I enjoyed watching them play. I quite enjoy watching boy bands play. If you know me, you know that I have no real worry about what kind of music I listen to, whether it's dance, trance, dubstep, metal, or whatever else. A little bit of rock rap. It's it's all part of like what makes me enjoy life. So they did that. But then afterwards, when we were leaving, um, for some reason, they tried to start a fight with one of my friends. I say they. Uh, Lee Ryan, which is the blonde one, um, tried to be all like up in our face and stuff. Which was like, that's a bit weird, really. Um, and then we all got confrontational with them, you know you got to support your friends and stuff like that. And also it's quite funny to see a boy band member trying to start a fight with anyone. And we all had that confrontation. It was good. But it ended up in Enemy magazine, which no one really likes Enemy. You shouldn't anyway. It's not particularly well written. And most of the taste in music they have is based on literally people, you know, crapping in a bucket and hoping for the best. But that's, that's my story about Blue. Um... I met the boy band after a show, Lee Ryan tried to start a fight with us, nothing really happened because he hid behind his bodyguard straight after trying to instigate it when he realised that we weren't going to just run around or be like, oh my god it's Lee Ryan, oh let's all uh, have a photo together and a hug and let's not get angry, like if you act like a prick to us it doesn't matter whether or not you're big or small, and that's the, uh, the message I'd like to send out to the rest of the YouTube community as well, it doesn't matter how many subscribers you got, I will fight you, dragons and shit.